Hello everyone and welcome if you are new here. My name is Alex Perkins and today, or this weekend I should say, Chris and I are going on a little Jeep trip. All right, so the Jeep needed fuel and we needed breakfast and I needed an extra coffee. So Chris and I just divided and conquered. So he is currently filling up the Jeep with fuel and I am just walking back from Tim Hortons. Um, he dropped me off at Timmy's and was like, if you're done before me, just make your way over. So that's what I'm doing. It's actually not bad out here this morning. The sun is out, feels real good. A uh, little wind, but it's not bad. So hopefully this is a good start to a good trip. Stopped for a couple last minute things at the Canadian Tire in Rocky Mountain House. And when we stopped, Chris thought he felt something going on a little bit weird, and we blew a U-joint. So we are replacing it. Thankfully, Canadian Tire had one in stock, and we had all but a hammer and a screwdriver that we needed. So we bought those and the U-joint, and yeah, oh it, was, it was pretty messed up. So it was a good catch on Chris's part. And thankfully, we got this done and changed in about 15 minutes, and we're back on our way. Well, we just made it to Nordig, and we're getting fuel, and then we're we'll hitting the road again. <laughs>
shot of the Panther River running here. As you can see, it's actually not too high right now, which is nice. We're not crossing this, but this is actually where we go when we go to the Panther River with the horses. So that's where we cross there. All right, well, we made it to destination one. We're at the Panther River Lodge cabins, and so I thought I would give you guys a little tour of our room. So the front door, got a little coat hanger at the front, and then we got a little couch and TV. It's currently raining. It's got a little deck with two chairs and a table, which is nice, you can sit outside. And then ours has the two beds. Um, it was the only cabin that had a queen bed, or so we thought. I think they're still both doubles, but whatever. We'll make a double work. I mean, we sleep on a king at home, but we'll just get cozied up. And then this is the bathroom back here. I don't know where the light is. There it is. Little tub. So yeah, super cute, nice and cozy. The lady at the front counter was telling us that we're the only people here. Apparently, they had a retreat booked, but then they canceled up until like four days ago, I think she said, or they canceled four days ago, and we literally booked yesterday. <laughs> so we're the only people here, so that's kind of nice. Um, we are going to... I'll show you guys the little gazebo that's outside and there's a barbecue there and that's where we will make our supper but yeah we made it stop number one so this is the gazebo that they have here nice big barbecue to use and looks like you can have a little fire in here be great because it's raining. So if we could have a fire and stay dry, that would be all right. So this is our cabin here. And then that is the office over there. A super cute little place.
well, we're headed home and it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, we are just at the gas station fueling up for the last time and then we will be heading home so that's probably gonna be it for today's video or so we thought we got almost all the way to old when we blew the CV joint and so we ended up limping the Jeep back to Olds and we got some tools from Canadian Tire to take the drive shaft off Thankfully, it was the rear drive shaft and we were able to drive home in four wheel drive, which ends up using your front wheels to drive. So I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Check out that link in the description and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.